the intricacies of media bias, the integrity of election processes, and the demands for accountability. Look forward. Will you accept the election results of 2024, no matter what happens, Senator? No matter what happens? No, if it's an unfair election, I think it's going to no be matter contested who by wins. either side. Senator, no matter well, who wins. You, uh, I think you're asking the wrong person. The Democrats are the ones that have opposed every Republican victory since 2000. Every single one. It's Hillary no Clinton Democrat has refused that, to concede. Hillary Clinton conceded. Senator, will you accept the election? Results? Hillary Clinton said the election was stolen from her and that Trump was illegitimate. Kamala Harris Senator, agreed. We have Democrats the election. now. Senator, she conceded she the said, election. She said, that Joe, the she said that Joe, she said that, no, she said that Trump was illegitimate. She said that the election had been stolen. Kamala Harris agreed. By the way, there are Democrats serving in Congress today who in 2004 voted not to certify the Ohio vo uh, Sen electors because they said those machines Senator, have been tampered with. And you have Democrats now saying they won't certify 2024 because Trump Sen is an insurrectionist Senator, and ineligible to hold office. So you need to ask them. I think you've had a, Senator, have you ever asked the Senator, Democrat this question Senator, on your show? Senator, I bet you you've never asked the Democrat that question. Senator. The heated exchange between Senior Marco Rubio and Kristen Welker regarding the 2024 election results highlights a perceived double standard in political accountability and media scrutiny, an issue of significant concern. Senator Rubio questioned whether Democrats faced similar scrutiny, suggesting that conservative figures are subjected to harsher investigations while progressive figures receive more lenient treatment. This issue resonates deeply with the public, reflecting widespread concerns about the integrity of democratic processes and media roles. Senator Rubio's argument that Democrats have historically challenged Republican victories since 2000 underscores a pattern that he believes needs addressing to ensure fair elections. The interaction between Rubio and Welker sheds light on the broader social and psychological implications of media, fairness, and political accountability. The public's keen interest in these issues underscores a collective desire for a balanced and transparent media landscape, as well as fair investigative practices. Senor Rubio's comments echo the call for greater equity in media coverage and political responsibility.